What's up, y'all? This is Big Michael Giles, the Redneck Patriot. I'm uh, bringing you guys a video on something that I get asked all the time uh, from friends and family and everything, so I figured I'd put it out there. Uh, it's a pretty good idea. Um, what's in my tackle box, or tackle bag in this case? Um, I have a tote that's full of different types of plastic containers that hold different types of hooks and variances for different things that I do, because I'm a avid fisherman for big lakes, rivers, streams, trout, and everything in between. So, uh, this is my standard bag, which I change things in and out of it all the time. Uh, we have a pocket over here on the right side. Uh, it does have some mollying area, molly webbing style stuff if you want to put some extra gear in there or whatever. But we have our bobbers. Uh, you know, I got some freaky looking kind of bobbers, some night fishing bobbers with rattlers that glow in the dark, and then standard big bobbers and little bobbers and everything in between. So, that's all that's on that side, just to, you know just some bobbers. Uh, over here we have a mesh pocket. Uh, I, nothing really in here. I put some uh, worms if I'm changing it up and I'm mainly doing bass fishing or anything of that nature. I'll put, you know, rubber worms over here sometimes. Okay, over here in the main pocket we have our fillet knife uh, from Berkeley, which is a really cool knife actually. Um, we have some uh, plier uh, forcep type things. That work really really well big old bugs going on around here sorry about that uh, we have this nifty thing that some guy sent me uh in the mail as a freebie and i have no idea what it is or what it does exactly i know it's to tie knots for the fishing line that's all i know but i don't really get it yet i have to do some research on that one still okay and then it's got a spot for you to put a big pair of pliers but i don't have a big pair of pliers that i bring in this bag um, Next up, we have the next pocket right here. Um, I always keep, uh, just in case you know, I see some panfish or whatever, I always keep some little hooks in here, uh, you know, if I'm out bass fishing or whatever, but I see some bluegill or something, I want to eat them. Some little weights. Uh, you know, just standard good things to keep on hand. Uh, and then I got my, my yo-yo reel and... Uh, that shouldn't be in there. That should be in one of the boxes, but whatever. So that's what's in that pocket. Okay, and then over here, uh, this is kind of like my, yet again, more of a pan fishing uh, stuff that usually always stays in here. Um, I got this little box in case, you know, I'm in an area where I can't really you know, carry my bag and my pool and everything else. I got some issues, so I'll throw some gear in this little box uh, so I can walk down a hill and just put it in my pocket. I got some of these little hook things that I got from my dad many, many years ago that I think I've only used once since I got them 20 years ago. <laughs> and uh, I always carry some fake bait, power bait with me. Um, I, I, if you notice, this bag is an ugly stick, but I do carry a lot of Berkeley gear on me. And Berkeley is fairly cheap, and, and, I, and, I, and, I, and I like it. It's reliable, so, you know, I ain't mad. Uh... Okay, and then up here in the front pocket, uh, this little pocket's kind of just my little whatever. Um, I have a skill my dad gave me many, many years ago, and uh, some lure lubricational type stuff that for fishing rods and whatever, all that. Uh, and up here, I carry some fake worms. And in all my boxes. So, um, like right here, we have a bunch of bass lures, stuff of that nature. Uh, we have our hooks in an assortment of different types of weights. I'm sorry, no hooks in that one. That one's that's got uh, metal leaders, hooks, spinners, things of that nature. Here's all of our hooks. A couple of uh, you know for walleye and stuff like that. And then the very bottom one is another one for bass. I went bass fishing the other day, and these two boxes, my hooks, and my weights are always the boxes that stay in my bag. They never, they never come out of the bag. Um, but my lures, they'll come out of the bag sometimes. Like normally when I go night cat fishing, especially, I'll take the bottom ones out, and only thing that'll be in this entire bag is the weights, the hooks, and then any gear that I need for cat fishing itself, uh, including you know baggies and stuff like that. I'm not keeping anything today. It's just about going, doing a little fishing. 
and uh, doing a couple of videos. You know, I did the Bud K video, and then I'm doing this little video on what's inside of my fishing bag. So, um, that's pretty much all this video was about today. So, but anyways, this is Michael Giles, the Redneck Patriot, saying thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, let me know. If you have any ideas for video, any videos you want to see, or anything else you want me to test out or check out, just let me know, okay? Y'all have a great one. Enjoy the outdoors. God bless you. God bless America. God bless our troops.